Hey guys, John Hansen from Pixel Street Videos here to talk about 12 Minutes. This game just released on Thursday this week and I ran through and 100% completed it, so I decided to put together a review of the game. Let's jump right into it because I've been anticipating this game for a while now. It's been showed off at some Xbox shows over the last few years and uh, gotta say it always looked very interesting for me. In 12 minutes, he plays an unnamed man who comes home from work right at midnight and immediately is trapped in a 10 minute time loop. The same situation always greets you. Your wife comes out of the bathroom and surprises you with the dessert to announce her pregnancy. However, things don't stay all happy very long, as within a few minutes, a man claiming to be a cop barges into your home accusing your wife of murdering her father eight years ago. He restrains both of you, demanding she give him a pocket watch before he struggles you to get her to talk. You then immediately appear at your front door and play through the 10 minute loop all over again. Each time you begin a new loop, the apartment appears the exact same way, but by grabbing items and finding certain conversation clues, you can progress the story forward and find out what really happened to your wife's father and why the cop wants to get his pocket watch so badly. Overall, the story's really good. It doesn't get too complicated, although there is some of that, and there is one very spoiler-filled plot hole that I won't get into this video. Even with that odd inclusion though, I wholly enjoyed finding the little clues and hints to progress the story. The cast here is made up of James McAvoy, Daisy Ridley, and Willem Dafoe, which is so crazy to think about these actors being involved in a video game. All three play their roles beautifully, although I never really fell in love with any of the characters, but this is not that kind of story. Overall, if you have Game Pass, I highly encourage giving 12 minutes a try. If you fall in love with this game as much as I did, you'll spend about 5-6 to six hours going through and finding all the different endings you can come across. While driving through the same scenes over and over again can get frustrating, when you find that next key to the puzzle, things feel like they pay off, decently at least. The mystery here drives the experience and keeps everything on track. It's essentially all part of one multiple hour long puzzle. It unfolds slowly over time and can sometimes feel like a grind, but overall, I really enjoyed it. Our grading for 12 minutes is an 8 out of 10. Hey guys, John here again. Thank you so much for watching and listening to my thoughts on 12 minutes. If you liked the video, please leave a like. Comment down below if you've given the game a try and your overall thoughts on it. I have seen some negative reviews online from users. Uh, critics seem to be about where I am, but the users are kind of bashing on this game. So let me know what you didn't like about it if you did have any problems with it. Uh, besides that, please subscribe and we will catch you on the next one. Bye!